students welcome to math class in this section we are studying about laplace transforms okay first we can define what is laplace transform the definition of laplace transform is let f of t be a function of t remember that t is greater than 0 then the laplace transform of f of t is denoted by l of f of t here we are using the curly bracket l of f of t is equal to f of s equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f t d t ok remember that what is laplace transform the definition of Laplace transform is let f of t be a function of t. Remember that t greater than 0, then the Laplace transform of f of t is denoted by L of f of t, which is equal to f of s, which is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f t d t. Here f of t is a function. Here is e raised to minus st f of t d ok now we can find out some important values for example first one is what is l of 0 here f of t is replaced by 0 then by the definition we can find out l of 0 as f of t is replaced by 0 then 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into f of t. Here f of t is 0. 0 d t which is equal to integral 0 to infinity 0 d t. Answer is 0. Okay. Therefore remember that our first result is L of 0. L of 0 is equal to Integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into 0. f of t is replaced by 0. Therefore, the answer is 0 to infinity 0 dt equal to 0. First answer. Please write down. Now, we can prove another important, another important thing using the applied function. First one is L of 0 is equal to 0. The second one is, listen, the second one is L of 1, L of 1, here f of t is replaced by 1, then by the definition integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into f of t, what is f of t, f of t is 1 dt, which is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st dt is equal to e raised to minus st divided by minus s we can apply lower and upper limit 0 infinity which is equal to e raised to minus st divided by minus s lower limit is 0 upper limit is infinity therefore when we are applying infinity to this function e raised to minus infinity by minus s that term is 0 0 minus next one is t is replaced by 0 then e raised to minus 0 by minus s that is e raised to 0 is 1 therefore it will become 1 by minus s ok Therefore, final answer is equal to minus into minus plus. Therefore, answer is 1 by s. Yes. Remember that L of 1 equal to 1 by s. Yes. Using Laplace transform, we can find out L of 1 equal to 1 by s. Yes. Okay. Place write down. Next, we can find out L of t. How to find out L of t? 
Please write this one. Second important thing is L of 1 equal to 1 by S. And the next one is Next one is we are finding out L of T. Next one is L of T. F of T is replaced by T. Then by the definition we can write 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into t dt. Okay. e raised to minus st into t dt. That is, this can be written as we are applying the product rule of integration. For, we will take first function as t, then the second function is e raised to minus st. We can use the code i h. Okay, therefore, here the first function is taken as t. Therefore, this, this can be written as integral 0 to infinity t into e raised to minus st d. Okay, now we can solve this one, which is equal to first function into t into Integral of second e raised to minus st by minus s. Here we can apply upper and lower limit 0 to infinity minus integral of 0 to infinity derivative of t. Derivative of t is 1. 1 into integral of second one e raised to minus st by minus s d ok then here first step you may replace t with infinity e raised to minus infinity by minus s that is 0 minus 0 minus second is t is replaced by 0 therefore the two terms of this function is 0 therefore the final answer will become here, it will become 0, this term is vanishing. Then the second one is minus of minus, that is plus 1 by s into minus of minus is 1 by plus s into 0 to infinity e raised to minus st, that is e raised to minus st divided by minus s. Yeah, by 0 to infinity. Therefore, you will do 1 by s into 1 by s into first e raised to minus infinity is 0. Therefore, 0 minus e raised to minus 0 is 1 by 1 plus s. Therefore, 1 by s into 1 by s, that will become 1 by s square. 1 by s square is the final answer. Okay. Remember that L of t equal to 1 by s square. L of t can be written as e raised to minus st into t dt. Remember that here we may take the first function as t and the second, second function as e raised to minus st. Then we are applying the lower and upper limit, this term will become 0, minus of minus s, that is 1 by s, then we are finding out integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t, that is equal to e raised to minus s t divided by minus s, then we are again applying the lower limit and upper limit, then we will get 1 by s into 0 plus 1 by s, that will become 1 by s square. Therefore, remember that L of T is equal to 1 by S square. Okay. L of T. Here, use curly bracket. Laplace transform of T. L of T is equal to 1 by S square. Okay. That is our expression. Now, we can check another one. Please write down on your notebook. Then we can move to another problem.
another one is this one. Another one is find L of first we can write the definition L of f of t is equal to Laplace transform is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into f of t dt that is the definition next question is find out L of e raised to a t next we are finding out the Laplace transform for e raised to a t that is L of e raised to a t here f of t is replaced by e raised to a t then by the definition we can write this is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into f of t what is our f of t e raised to a t d t ok that is equal to integral 0 to infinity this one is of the form a raised to m into a raised to n that is equal to a raised to m plus n therefore this will become integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st plus a t d t that is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus from these two terms we can take t as common then the remaining is s minus a t d t ok this is minus s t this is plus a t therefore minus of s into t is minus s t minus of minus plus a t therefore integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s minus a t d t when we are integrating we will get this half this when we are integrating this function we will get e raised to minus s minus a t divided by minus s minus e now we can apply the lower limit and the upper limit then this is equal to e raised to minus infinity that is 0 minus next one is we are applying the upper limit is infinity and the lower limit is 0 therefore e raised to minus 0 that is you know that that is equal to 1 by 1 by minus of s minus c ok then this is equal to here is a minus here is also a minus minus into minus plus therefore find the answer is 1 by s minus e remember that L of e raised to a t L of e raised to a t equal to 1 by s minus a remember that s minus a is always greater than 0 ok L of e raised to a t is equal to 1 by s minus a remember that s minus a is greater than 0 ok not the idea please write down on your notebook Our second question is find the Laplace transform for cos a t that is we want to find out L of cos a t L of cos a t this can be written as which is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into this function cos 
A T D T. Okay, this can be written as integral zero to infinity. Take cos A T as our first function. E raised to minus T as our second function. Therefore, zero to infinity. First function is cos A T into E raised to minus S T D T. When we are solving, we get this one as e raised to minus s t into minus s cos a t plus a sin a sin a t and it is causing the whole divided by s square plus a square ok we are applying the lower and upper limit Now limit is zero. Upper limit is infinity. Now we can apply this lower and upper limit to this function. We write here the first function is e raised to minus infinity. That will become zero. Therefore, zero minus second is zero. Second function is zero. We are applying t is replaced by zero. E raised to zero that is one. Minus s c into minus s c into cos zero. We know that cos zero is one and sine zero is zero. Therefore, this will become one into minus s into cos zero. That is minus divided by s square plus a square. This term will become zero because we know that. Sine zero is zero. Therefore, minus of minus s by s square plus s square which is equal to s by s square plus s square. Okay. Remember that L of cos a t that is Laplace transform for cos a t. L of cos a t is equal to s by s square plus s square. That is our final answer. Okay. Similarly, we can find out L of sin a t. Okay, first you may write this one. Okay, our second question is listen. This one is s by s square plus s square. Second one is. Second question is find the Laplace transform for sin a t. Sin a t that is equal to integral zero to infinity e raised to minus s t into sin a t d t. Here is also take first function as sin a t and e raised to minus s t as second function. Therefore, this will become zero to infinity sin a t into e raised to minus s t d t. Okay, that is equal to we will get e raised to minus s t into minus s sin a t minus a cos a t. The whole divided by e square plus e square. Okay. Now we are applying the lower and upper limit. That is zero to infinity. Okay. First we can apply infinity to this function. T is replaced by infinity. Then we will get e raised to minus infinity. That term will become zero. Therefore, here the first term is equal to zero minus Second one is replace t with the zero. Therefore, e raised to minus zero. That is, e raised to zero into minus is sine zero. Sine zero will become zero. Then minus of a cos zero. We know that cos zero is one. Therefore, minus of here is one. One into 
here is minus a minus a divided by a square plus a square okay divided by a square plus a square that is minus of minus will become plus final answer is a by a square plus a square okay remember that our final answer is a by not a s a by a square plus a square therefore remember that l of sin a t sin a t l of sin a t is equal to a by a square plus a square this is how final answer okay please write down on your notebook what is the value of l of e raised to i a t that is what is l of laplace transform for l of e raised to i a t which is equal to you know that it is 1 by you know that a t it is 1 by s minus a but a t is replaced by i a t then we will get 1 by s minus I into a, okay, 1 by s minus I into a. Then we are multiplying the numerator and the denominator with the s plus I a divided by s plus I a. Then we will get which is equal to s plus I a divided by this is of the form a plus b into a minus b that is. A square minus b square. That is, a square minus i a the whole square. That is equal to s plus i a divided by a square. We you know that i square is minus one. Minus one into minus plus a square. Okay. Suppose that this is our equation number one. Okay. We get l of e raised to i a t. L of e raised to i a t is equal to s plus i a divided by s square plus a square. This is our equation number one. Then listen. We know that e raised to i a t is equal to you know that that is equal to cos a t plus i Sin a t. Okay. <coughs> e raised to i a t is equal to cos a t plus i sin a t. That is, then what is L of e raised to i a t? It is equal to integral zero to infinity e raised to minus s t into The remaining term is cos a t plus i sin a t d. Okay, that is equal to integral zero to infinity e raised to minus s t into <coughs> cos a t cos a t d t plus second function is i is taken outside i into integral Zero to infinity. E raised to minus s t into second function is sin a t a t b. Okay, that is what is this function? This function is equal to L of cos a t plus i into L of Sin a t. Okay, we will get these two functions. This is our equation number two. Now we can look at that. That is equation number one. That is s plus i a by s square plus s square. Equation two is l of e raised to i t equal to l of cos a t plus i l of sin a t. We can equate these two equations. Then we will get. The real part is 
s by s square plus s square that is how l of cos a and the imaginary part is l of sin a that is equal to a by s square plus s square that is we can write therefore we can write l of cos a t l of cos a t is equal to s by s square plus s square and l of sin a t l of sin a t is equal to this one a by s square plus s square ok write down these two results first one is L of cos a t that is equal to s by s square plus s square and second one is L of sin a t that is equal to a by s square plus s square. Okay, write down. <coughs> Next, we are studying about the Laplace transform for hyperbolic functions. Okay, listen. We first we are calculating. Laplace transform for cos h a t that is a hyperbolic cos function that is equal to you know that L of cos h a t that is the hyperbolic function of cos L of cos h a t is equal to you know that this integral 0 to infinity e raise to minus s t into cos h a t t d ok but we know that that is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raise to e raise to minus s t into cos h a t t hyperbolic function of cos we know that hyperbolic function of cos h a t t is equal to e raise to a t plus e raise to a t plus e raise to minus a t divided by 2 into d ok remember that what is cos h a t t cos h a t t is the hyperbolic function of cos that is equal to e raise to a t plus e raise to minus a t divided by d ok therefore now we can multiply e raise to minus s t with the, these two terms 1 by 2 can be taken outside then that is equal to 1 by 2 into integral 0 to infinity into first function is e raise to minus s t into e raise to a t that is e raise to minus s minus a t dt plus 1 by 2 into integral 0 to infinity e raise to minus st into e raise to minus a t that is equal to e raise to minus s plus a t dt ok that is we know that what is this one which is equal to 1 by 2 into this one is 1 by s minus e plus this one is 1 by 2 into e raise to this one will become 1 by s plus e therefore 1 by 2 can be taken outside 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus e plus 1 by s plus a when we are solving these two we get it is equal to <coughs> when we are taking s plus a plus s minus a that is 2s 2s divided by 2 2 can be cancelled then the final answer is s by s minus a into s plus a is s square minus a square this is the final answer. Therefore, remember that L of 
cos h a t is equal to s by s square minus a square. Please write down on your notebook. Remember that cos h a t is equal to e raised to a t plus e raised to minus a t by 2 t. We are splitting these two functions. Then we will get like this. This one is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus a plus 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus a. The final answer is s by s square minus a square. Okay. Please write down on your notebook. Next we can find out the Laplace transform for sin h a t that is the hyperbolic function for sin. We can find out. Okay. Listen. Find L of sin h a t sin x a t sin x a t that is the hyperbolic function for sin that is equal to this can be written as integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into into sin x a t d t ok it is equal to Integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into what is sin h a t that is equal to e raised to a t minus e raised to minus a t divided by 2 d t. Okay. Hyperbolic function for sin is sin h a t is equal to Remember that 1 by 2 into e raised to a t minus e raised to minus a t d t. Okay. Now we can split these two functions. 1 by 2 is common. 1 by 2 into integral 0 to infinity. What is e raised to minus s t into e raised to a t? That is equal to. And we are going. It will become e raised to minus s minus a t d t first function minus what is the second function 1 by 2 into integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into e raised to minus a t that is e raised to minus s plus a t d t ok e raised to minus s plus a t s plus a into t dt. Okay. That is equal to 1 by 2 into this one is 1 by s minus a. Next one is minus 1 by 2 into this one is 1 by, 1 by s plus a. Okay. 1 by 2 can be taken outside. 1 by 2 into next one is 1 by s minus a minus 1 by s plus a. Okay, it is equal to when we are solving, we get s plus a minus s minus a. That is 2a. 2a divided by 2 is a. a divided by s minus a into s plus a is s square minus a square. This is the Final answer of L of sin h a t. Remember that a by s square minus s square. S square minus a square. Remember that L of sin h a t is equal to a by s square minus a square. Okay. Please write down on your notebook. If you have any doubt, then please write on the comment box below. Okay. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe our channel.